Okay, YouTube, here I am today again with a quick and simple, easy recipe that I will be making. It's called a low country seafood bowl. Some people have other names for it, but this is what I'm used to calling it. So, yeah. And here are the things you will need. You will need shrimp, corn on the cob, sausage, potatoes, Old Bay seasoning, and I'm using the blackened seasoning, light salt, and the country crop butter that will go into the pot as well as everything else so let's get started i will be adding the corn in first of course because it takes the longest okay youtube i am back i just wanted to let you see how i've taken the corn shucked the corn cut it into two pieces and i haven't added anything yet but just a plain water of course as you see I will be adding the tomato, uh, potatoes and sausage and all that, you know, step by step and the seasonings. So it will take a while. It's a process, but it's so very good. Okay, I am back. As you see, the corn is still boiling, but it's just about to the point that I want to add my chopped potatoes. So I chopped them up into big pieces. You can put them any way you like. Traditionally, the recipe calls for the small smaller potatoes i forget the name of them right now but they're much smaller and um so anyways i'm not using that in this video i like these better but you have to be careful with the potatoes because they will get mushy so once we add the potatoes in i would give it about maybe 10 minutes if that you kind of poke at it at five at the five minute point and see if they're soften up if they have started to soften up you want to add your sausages and your um, shrimp into it. But I'm going to go ahead and add the butter and all of the other things that I showed you. Okay, YouTube, I am back and I just wanted to let you see that I added the frozen shrimp and my sausage. I've taken the sausage and cut them up into um, pieces, kind of like hunks, like, actually. But anyways, I've added everything in the butter, the Old Bay seasoning, and the salt. Some people like to add beer in it also, or you can add crawfish. I've talked to a lady once, and she told her told me her mother actually adds um, chicken drumettes to this. So keep that in mind if you want to just play around with the dish and add other things in it. But I would not suggest fish, because fish will break easily once the bowl starts to flow, and the fish will start breaking apart. But... I mean, you can, that's your recipe, that's your dish, so don't let me stop you. So anyways, here we are just waiting for it to come to boil and test the potatoes out to see if they have softened up. We're going to drain this and put it on a platter and we are going to have a yummy good time, me and my children. Okay, it is ready to be taken out and when I say taken out, we're going to strain this in a strainer colander whatever you want to call it long as you remove the juices from it and once it all settled down and no more liquid is falling from the colander then we will put it on a platter. look and i'm back and here is the end and the final process actually it's not a process it's a process of eating going on but yeah here we are and the plate is I plated it on a platter actually so like I said make sure you drain it because you don't want it to be soup and if you leave it in the broth you definitely will have breakage of the potatoes um, well yeah I'm guilty of that a little bit but anyways I'm going to be eating this don't leave it in the broth or juices from the pot because you want to make sure you drain everything out of the pot even if you don't eat it all I promise you, you need to leave it in a strainer and pop it in the fridge or something, but just do not leave it in the liquid for the potato reasons. So here we are. I hope you try this and you can add um, some lemon juice if you like on it, or you could have did that in the process of the cooking. It doesn't matter. Enjoy.